Well, one of the best and most challenging schools in the entire country is a lot closer than you think. In fact, it is right in the heart of downtown Evansville. And that's where we find Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey, who has more on the national achievements coming to Evansville's signature school. Cody? Good evening, Shelley. That's right here in downtown Evansville. Excitement and confidence at an all-time high with these national accolades. When staff, teachers, and students found out that their school was once again ranked at a national level, their confidence began to soar. I think everybody's walking a little taller. You know, it's a wonderful shot in the arm. National achievements are again pouring in for Evansville's signature school. The U.S. News and World Report ranks them as the third best high school in America, as well as the nation's top charter school, causing teachers and students like Callum McLeod and Catherine Titzer to beam with pride. It's really a reflection of uh, both how much the teachers put into this school and how much the students uh, give back. It's definitely been pretty amazing and mind-boggling to like see my peers and my classmates get awesome yeah. awards and achieve amazing things because they have the opportunities here that SIG provides them. Signature was also named the second most challenging school in the nation by the J. Matthews Challenge Index, adding to the challenge of education in a pandemic world, according to Executive Director Gene Hitchcock. The whole world has had the challenge of COVID, and so it's been a tough few years for a couple of years. So to have this validation of all of the work and the passion that goes into Signature School was terrific. Hitchcock says the recognition also provides proof to students that hard work and dedication pay off. You get this validation of ranking that your struggle um, was worth it and that you succeeded in such a challenging environment. Whenever you see people achieving these amazing, outstanding awards, it's like, wow, we are really in a place full of talented individuals. As for the previous accolades on display, Hitchcock jokes that new signage is just a small price to pay. They'll look forward to updating that banner. <laughs> And as Hitchcock mentioned there, too, that there's a lot of work still to be done despite all these national accolades. She says that they have yet to be ranked number one in that J. Matthews Challenge Index, and they are motivated now more than ever to make that happen in the years to come. Reporting live in downtown Evansville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.